something as simple as changing your furnace filter often can help you save both energy and money. That's because when a furnace filter is clean, your furnace runs more efficiently. Plus, filters are relatively inexpensive, and changing one only takes a couple of minutes. Basically, all you need when changing a furnace filter is the filter itself. But there are many sizes, so be sure to check what size you need before making the purchase. You may also want to have a marker handy, as well as a vacuum cleaner or vent brush. When getting started, the first thing you'll want to do is switch off your furnace. If you have an older furnace that doesn't have an easy access switch, you can go to your thermostat. Turn it up higher in the summer, or down lower in the winter. But don't forget to set it back to normal when you're finished replacing the filter. Now that your furnace is off, locate the filter rack. Most often, it is near the blower. Remove your filter. When doing this, be sure to note what direction the arrow is pointing. It's also not a bad idea to mark the direction of airflow on your furnace with a marker, so you'll always know which direction the arrow should be pointing. To replace your old filter with a new one, you'll need to determine the size. To do this, check your current filter. The size should be marked on the side. Or you can just take the old filter with you to any hardware store or home center. Again, it's not a bad idea to use your marker to write the filter size directly on your furnace. Now, grab your new filter, making sure the arrow on the side of the filter is pointing in the correct direction. Then, simply slide in the new filter. If you don't have a cover on your filter rack, this open gap here can release a lot of airflow, causing your furnace to work harder than necessary. An easy fix is a magnetic strip like this that you can place over the top to keep air from leaking out. Now that your filter has been changed, don't forget to turn your furnace back on. To get the most value from your heating and cooling dollars, here are two more helpful tips. First, routinely check the cold air returns in your home to make sure they are not covered in dust or pet hair, because you don't want debris being pulled into your furnace's airflow. Secondly, make sure your heat registers are not blocked by furniture or drapery. Open vents paired with your new clean filter will mean your furnace will be working at full efficiency and you'll be saving dollars all month long.